Last week, a district judge had to slap down Rudy Giuliani and basically explain how the law works to him, even though Giuliani has been a lawyer for decades. You see, Giuliani had requested access to the warrants that were executed on his properties. And uh, U.S. District Judge J. Paul uh, Otkin had to explain to Rudy that you don't get access to those warrants until you're charged. That's actually sensitive law enforcement information. And, and you should know that, that you can't have that until you're charged. Once you're charged, absolutely. You get full access to everything. You get to see why the warrant was issued, what they were looking for and what they found. So you can build your defense. That's how the legal system works. But until then, Rudy, you get nothing. You're going to sit back and just kind of take it for a while. And you know that that's how the law works. You idiot. I wish the judge had added that last part. He did not. I did. Um, <laughs> this is specifically what he said. If Giuliani is charged with a crime, of course he will be entitled to production of the search warrant affidavits as part of discovery pursuant to federal rule of criminal procedure 16. Um, the judge also smacked down Giuliani's claim that the search warrant on him was unconstitutional because it may involve material relevant to his time as the president's attorney. So the judge responded saying this. Lawyers are not immune from searches and criminal investigations. Rather, a law office search is nevertheless proper if there's reasonable cause to believe that the specific items sought are located on the property to be searched. The searches here were based on probable cause, and it is precisely to avoid unnecessary intrusion on attorney-client communications. That's, that, that's like law school 101. <laughs> <laughs> now let's be honest. Nobody has looked at Giuliani as some kind of brilliant legal mind or brilliant prosecutor in decades, right? Most people forget that Giuliani was even a lawyer until of course he reemerged as Donald Trump's lawyer. And uh, we've seen how all that's played out. And that's actually one of the reasons he's in such hot water right now. But the reason that Giuliani, you know, was trying to get all this done, trying to declare it unconstitutional, trying to get his hands on those warrants that he's not entitled to is because at the same time this was happening, <laughs> the judge, uh, appointed a special master, what's called a special master, uh, to go through the evidence that had been seized at Giuliani's home and his office. So Giuliani, it, things aren't looking so good for him. <clears throat> And of course, his two buddies, uh, the Ukrainians, Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman, um, those cases are now moving forward again. They're looking for potential election interference with those two cronies. Uh, it is likely that these two individuals, given their close relationship, uh, both personal and working with Rudy Giuliani, could give vital information about things Giuliani may or may not have done. So Giuliani's freaking out right now. That's why he did this. But just because you're scared, just because the walls are closing in, uh, doesn't mean you get to pretend that you don't know what the law is. You know what it is. You were an attorney and that's what the judge was trying to point out. Like nothing we're doing here is out of the realm of what happens in literally every instance where this happens. You've provided no precedent whatsoever where the person being investigated was allowed access to the warrants before they were charged. Like you can't point to a single instance, the judge says where that's ever happened. So it ain't happening here. Best of luck, Rudy. I don't think things are going to end very well for you though.